Yes, it's me, it's Queen Onset of Rue, and thank you for joining me for another wonderful edition of Ask and Aquarius. If you haven't already, please hit the red subscribe button and smack the bell. All right, guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and pass it on to somebody else who may enjoy it. Likewise, if you have a general question for Ask an Aquarius, a question about Aquarius, or a question about spirituality, or a question about relationships in general, please send it to me via email or social media um, or put it in the comment section underneath any video. Underneath every video is all of my contact information, okay? So likewise, if you want to get a personal question answered, you're going to need a reading. So I will do one question for $20, I will do a half an hour for $35, and I will do an hour of a reading for $68. So email me if you want an appointment, okay? All right, so a young lady who was a lesbian sent me a message. And she said that she noticed that at, the more she became comfortable with her sexuality, the more men were in her face. And she's like, I don't understand what's going on with this. And I'm like, you know, every lesbian I know has had this discussion because there are certain types of men who cannot resist a lesbian. Either because she's not having sex with men, so to a man, that's valuable. You know, if she's never had sex with a man, then she's a gold star lesbian. So she's basically, in his mind, a virgin. So that's, of course, he wants to deflower her, you know? But it's only certain kind of men who are idiots like this. It's not all of them. Because I've come to find that the loud, boisterous men are the ones who you hear the most. But the brothers who have the most sense, the men who are the most intelligent, are the quietest ones. That's one thing I've noticed about males. So they're not all idiots like this, but you are going to run across these men. I've run across them every time I go outside. Another thing that makes men, that type of man, act like that is some men have a hard time realizing or imagining or accepting that a woman can be happy without his golden penis. So those of us who are having sex with women or in relationships with women, it's their mission to seek and destroy. It's their mission to try to change you, to sleep with you, to pull you to them, to get you to fall in love with them. But it's not because they want you, it's because of their ego. I went through this with Voldemort. This is the only reason why Voldemort came on to me. I'm very clear on that. He won't admit it, but I'm clear on it. Because he's one of those types of men. He's one of those misogynistic, sexist kind of men who can't accept a woman being happy without a man in her life. And certain men are like that. They get very angry about it. And when you are around a guy like that, you know it's all ego. It's all ego. So here are my tips. And I use these myself. <laughs> so that's where I got them from. I use these tips myself to ward off unwanted advances. And really, anybody can use these. Any woman, any man, if you just tweak them a bit, because some of them are specific to lesbians, and it is a couple of them. But if you tweak them a bit, then you can use them. Really, anybody can use them. A straight woman can use them. A straight man, a gay man, anybody could really use these. But certain ones are going to be very specific. Number one. Keep a fake engagement ring. As a lesbian, you do not want to get into the conversation over and over and over again with men about why you're a lesbian and why you don't like men. All of them that are like that, those types, those misogynistic types, are going to try to get you into this conversation. So if you're out at an event and a man tries to hit on you, don't even bother going into a long, drawn-out explanation, which I'm going to talk more about in another one. But don't even go there. Instead, I keep a fake engagement ring. So whenever a man tries to hit on me, I just go, bam, I'm taken, and keep moving, okay? Bam, and move. <laughs> don't stand there talking and lollygagging. Just show him the ring and keep it moving. That is a universal sign for I'm married or I'm about to get married and I'm not interested, okay? 
just show it off and move on. And it, it's fake. I got it for like $20 or $30 on Amazon. or No, this was Etsy. But Amazon has them. Etsy has them. eBay has them. Get you a little fake ring that looks real enough that you can pretend that it is and go about your business, okay? Most men, um, if you show them and move, they'll know that you're not interested and they'll move on. Only a real jackass is going to bother you beyond that point, okay? Number two. If the conversation goes sexual or personal, disengage immediately. I don't care where you are. If you're on the internet, if you're in person, if you're at a bar, if you're at an event, if you are standing there talking to some guy, just casually, hey, how you doing? Nice to meet you. Where you from? And the conversation goes sexual or gets really personal, he trying to bag you. And if he knows you're gay or not, if he knows that you're a lesbian or not, does not matter. So if you're not interested and the conversation goes there, disengage and go about your business, okay? Because beyond this, he's setting you up. <laughs> he's setting you up to get your number or your information or something, but he's setting you up. So if it goes personal, if it goes sexual, disengage with the conversation and go about your business. That is your warning. That's your red flag. Three, don't get angry. Attraction is normal. Sometimes people get angry when somebody hits on them of a different sex. Like if you're a lesbian and a man hits on you, they get mad. Or if it's a man and a man hits on him, he gets mad, you know, or something like that. But attraction is normal. Attraction is natural. Just because you're not attracted to them doesn't mean they're not attracted to you. And this is something I had to learn about um, being a lesbian. Just because you're not attracted to men does not mean they're not going to try to holler. It does not mean they're not going to try to get in your pants. They don't care that you're attracted or not. They're attracted to you. So they're going to go after what they want. OK, most people in that kind of a situation, male or female, if they're attracted to somebody, they're going to go for it. They don't know that you're a lesbian in some cases, you know, and some they will and they'll do it on purpose for the reasons I stated before. But sometimes they don't even know. They just trying to holler because they're attracted to you. So if you are, you know, if you get some unwanted attention, don't get angry. Just be, say, I always be like, thank you, I'm flattered, but no thank you. And I keep it moving. Notice how in all these situations, I get away from them. I keep it moving. You see? Standing there yakking with them is how you get, <laughs> it's how you get in trouble. So I keep it moving. So don't get angry when anybody hits on you. I don't care if you're gay. I don't care if you're straight. I don't care if you're a bi, if you're a lesbian, if you're a man, you're a woman. If somebody hits on you, just take it as being a compliment. They're complimenting that you're attractive. Say thank you and move on. Okay? Now, if they take it beyond that, they're following you. Like one night... I went to a bar and I was at the bar and this guy tried to holler, tried to buy me a drink. I told him, no, thank you. I flashed my ring, which by the way is on the wrong hand. It's supposed to be on the left hand, but I put it here for the video so you guys could actually see it. Anyway, so um, I told him, no, thank you. And I moved and then he followed me. He didn't say nothing again, but I noticed I went to a different bar. This place had like five bars in it. And I went to the second bar and I looked up and there he was. And I was like, okay. So I waited until he got distracted and I moved to the third bar. Had a drink, talking to somebody, laughing and joking, looked up. He's next to me. I got the fuck out of there. <laughs> I got out of there. I finished my drink and I went outside and got the Uber and got out of there. That's not a good sign. Okay? If somebody makes you feel uncomfortable, leave. Because somebody like that could be a little sicker than you realize. Next one. Go to, oh yeah, frequent lesbian, gay, bisexual, and trans and questioning events. Because in these places, you'll come across women, number one. And number two, most of the men that are there are not going to be paying you no mind. So I go to Pride. I love Pride. I love Pride in every city. I went to Pride in San Diego. I went to Philadelphia more times than I can count. 
Pride is cool. So frequent those kind of events because in those kind of events, it's less of that going on. There are straight people in these events. A lot of times there are straight people at Pride supporting their friends, supporting their, their mom, you know, all kind of things happen at Pride, which is really cool. But the majority of the men that are going to be there are not going to be checking for you. So you're good. Go to gay events, go to prides, go to, you know, bars, go, go to those kind of events. I noticed that this happens to me when I go to events that are mostly heterosexual. That's when it happens the most. When I just go to a neighborhood bar or just any old club, try to go to things that are LGBTQ <laughs> specific. That has cut down a lot of this. Don't tell men that you are a lesbian. It makes it worse. If you tell a man, I'm not interested, I'm a lesbian, he's, and he's one of those types, one of those misogynistic, sexist types, it is going to become his mission to change your life. <laughs> it's going to become his mission to get in your pants. It is going to become his mission to fuck with you and ask you 20 damn questions, okay? Don't tell him that. Do not tell a man you don't know I'm a lesbian. If he comes on to you, don't say, oh, I'm good, I'm a lesbian. That's going to put fuel on his ass. That's why I have the ring. Because instead of saying I'm a lesbian, I just say I'm taken. You don't need to know who and what I'm taken by. You just know I'm taken and get out of my face. Okay? So when you tell him that, you just make it worse. So don't do that. <laughs> do not do that. I'm telling you, when I was a young lesbian, I was rah, rah, rah. And it just made it worse because like I said, then they have a challenge in front of them. And the ones who have an ego can't resist the challenge. So it just doesn't make sense and it doesn't help you. I've had a lot of situations go down with this. One night, I remember I was at a club and I was, you know, chilling. And this guy wanted me to dance with him and I didn't want to dance with him. And, um, you know, I had on my like pride jewelry, like rainbow pride jewelry. And he was like, oh, you know, he noticed that I was gay. And, you know, I was like, well, you know, I'm not really interested. And he would not leave me the fuck alone. I had to go hug up on some woman that I didn't even like. <laughs> and me and her wasn't even like that. I had to go hug up on some woman for him to go away. Like I went over there and like just held her and, and like put my face in her shoulder. And he was like, oh, okay. And then he backed off, but it took all of that. You knew I was gay 15 minutes ago, you know? You knew I was lesbian when you walked up. So some of the times, like I said, when you got those types of men, it's going to make it worse. Take a brother with you. Take a brother type person with you, your actual brother or a man that you're close with, a cousin, an uncle, you know, somebody who's not going to try to hit on you, preferably a family member. Take one of them with you. If you have to go to an event that's extremely heterosexual and you know it's going to be men there, take a brother with you. They won't bother you if they think that guy is your dude. They, well, I ain't going to say they won't bother you because I've had that happen too. One time I was in a bar with my husband. This is back when I was still seeing men and I was married and I was in the bar with my husband sitting there drinking with him and talking and laughing and everything. And this man waited until he went to the bathroom and walked over to me and tried to holler. And I was like, you see, I'm here with my dude. Like, what's wrong with you? So it doesn't always work, but it can be very beneficial. Especially if the guy stays with you. When my, when my daughter's father went to the bathroom, I should have went to the bathroom too. That's where I messed up at. And lastly, consider dressing down. No matter what you have on, nobody has the right to harass you. I don't care how sexy or seductive you throw it on. No man or woman has the right to harass you. But... We all know the more alluring and seductive and sexy you look, the more those kinds of men are going to be looking. A lot of men are very visual. So if you look like, oh my God, if you look like a snack, some of them are going to have a hard time not trying to get a bite. <laughs> okay? So consider dressing down. When I'm going to an event with heterosexuals, I dress down. I don't dress as sexy is my point. If I'm going with lesbians, I throw it on, okay? <laughs> Get my best bag, my boobies pushed up, I put on my sexiest outfit. But if I know it's a hetero event, I don't do that. I put on something that's not as sexy. Basic bottom line. I might look I usually look really nice, but not as sexy. 
I don't show as much cleavage. I won't wear anything as tight. You know, I wear something that's long, nine times out of 10. You know, those of you that know me, have seen me in different outfits, you've seen that a lot of times I wear long dresses. And that's one of those reasons. I try to be as, you know, attractive but conservative as possible as to not draw a lot of attention. Because some of my outfits are out there. Some of my outfits are really out there. But I don't wear them in places where I'm going to get attention that I don't want. So that's one thing that I've learned from being a lesbian as long as I have been. So I hope that this helps you. Any of you out there that are thinking about this or considering this or have had this problem, I hope that this helps you, okay? All right, guys, it's time for me to get going. So if you want to send me a love donation, my PayPal will be underneath this video too. My Patreon information will be under here as well. I'm dying to get more patrons. So if you're interested, check out that. And please come back soon because I have a lot more to say. See you later.